Hi, this is Tyler Muffley, one of the urogynecologists at University of Colorado, bringing you um, some urogynecology tips from my kitchen table. And today we're going to talk about the um, exam that you'll have in the office for diagnosing pelvic organ prolapse. Okay, so our exam starts with a um, with a conversation between the patient and the doctor, um, where we sit down and ask you several questions about um, what you're feeling, what you're not feeling. Um, and go through a full history and physical examination, okay? So after we talk, uh, the doctor will step out, um, allow you some time to get undressed. From the waist down, we'll give you um, a sheet that you can cover your lap with. And then a doctor and a uh, medical assistant or nurse will come back into the um, room um, to examine you. We'll start by examining your abdomen. And then um, as part of the abdominal exam, we'll do a pelvic examination. The pelvic examination starts with putting the patient in some stirrups and um, examining the lymph nodes in the groin for enlarged lymph nodes. After that, what we'll do is um, we'll have we'll gently spread the labia and ask the patient to um, bear down like she's having a baby or like she's having a large bowel movement. Um, oftentimes, we'll, we'll ask the, the patient to cough gently and then harder and harder, and we're looking at the urethra to see if there's leakage or if it, any of the walls of the vagina are pushing down. Oftentimes, this is going to be very similar to a pap smear that you've had in the past. You may hear us calling out some numbers to the nurse or to the MA, and we'll be taking some measurements for what's called the pelvic organ prolapse quantification scale. And this is just a way that we can stage the prolapse, or it's a measurement system to assess the severity of pelvic organ prolapse and track changes over time. Next, we'll use a pediatric speculum and we'll insert it into the vagina and we'll examine the different parts of the vagina to determine which parts um, are prolapsing and to what extent. If you still have a cervix, we'll look at your cervix as well. Last part of the examination is we'll place um, uh, one gloved finger inside the vagina with some cool gel on it and examine um, the pelvis. So um, that's the bare bones examination for pelvic organ prolapse. And this is Tyler Muffley with Urogynecology Tips from my kitchen table. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.